Hi guys. So welcome to class today again, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to create a pattern for a crossover bodice. Okay? And I'm going to be showing us an example or we are going to be following the instructions run rather from this handout that I have here. This handout is available for sale. So this handout covers a lot of topics up to trouser block, reverse collar, everything you need to know, the shirt collar. There are so many things, two-piece sleeve, bishop sleeve. There are a lot of things in this handout, okay? So if you want to purchase one of these handouts, you can send me a message on WhatsApp. So I'm going to put the number down on the screen during this video, okay? So today we are going to be talking about crossover bodies. And this is crossover bodies that I have here. So you guys can see an example of a crossover bodies, okay? So now the first thing you want to do when you want to make a crossover bodies, let's read what we have here first in this under. The under says this tie emphasizes the ratio between the bust and the waist, okay? Outline the old bodies. This is a old bodies right now. This is what a old bodies lines like a full front. It's not a quarter bodies. I have a full front bodies, okay? Say should outline the old bodies. The crossover usually lies from the right shoulder neck point, okay? Usually lies from the right shoulder. So the way this bodies is placed to this camera now, so this is my right shoulder, okay? So usually lies from the right shoulder up to the base of the left waist, okay? So that's how we're going to be working on this crossover bodies today. I'm going to explain all the details you need to know. So, like I said before, if you need to purchase one of these handouts, you can send me a message, okay? So now, the first thing that we need to do, you want to find out how wide you want your neckline to be, okay? So here, I just have a basic standard neckline of 3 inches wide. That is exactly what I have here. I use 3 inches neckline here. So now, the first thing you want to do, you need to find how wide you want your neckline to be. So I'm going to just come over here from my center point because I'm going to be crossing over from this part. So I want to make my neckline to be as wide as 4 inches, okay? This is totally your choice. So from the center line, I'm making sure my neckline is as wide as 4 inches. That's going to be the new neckline I want to use here. And another thing I also want to explain to us, you see most times when you see some people make these crossover bodies, you will see they will not have to start wearing a camisole or a singlet inside because it is too open, it's too revealing. They are not able to manage it or to wear it like that because a lot of cleavage area is going to be showing and all of that. So you can manage that. The way you manage your crossover bodies, if you don't want to show a lot of skin, you don't want to show your cleavage, you don't want a situation where you're not be wearing a camisole or a breast tube inside of your crossover bodies. You come to this your center neck point. You are going to be marking the depth that you want for your neck point. I already have a one inch neck depth. So now, for me to be able to control how my body is going to cross because I don't want to show a lot of skin around here. So I'm going to measure that. I'm going to use five inches. I want my neckline to be as deep as five inches here. And remember, our hand that says it's going to cross over to the other side of the base of the left, left waist dart, okay? So, I'll now connect my neckline. I'll connect my shoulder point, which is the wideness of my neck, from the wideness of my neck. I'll connect it to meet this, my new neckline, and it goes all the way to the dart. It's that simple, guys. Crossover bodies is very, very simple, okay? So, you can use a straight ruler to connect this. So, I'm going to be connecting this together. So now I'll connect like so. I want to make sure that these two points, they meet, okay? Good. So the next thing I want to do, from that point, I'm going to be connecting it as well. So the left side of my waist that good. So then I'll continue and I'll connect it, okay? So you can see like we have like a little bump here. You're just going to smoothen that out, okay? And good. Your crossover bodies is ready. So the next thing you want to do now is to cut out the part 
that you don't need. So I'm just going to start cutting through these lines, okay? All this style line which I've created, you can see the style line which we created. I'm just going to cut through that style line, okay? Like so. I just continue cutting and cutting till I get to that part. And this part is no longer needed and I'm going to put it aside. I don't need that part anymore. This is the part I need. So I'll just finish cutting out my bodies. So remember I use 4 inches for my neck whiteness and I also use 5 inches for my neck depth, okay? So that neck depth is very, very important. It makes sure that you control how wide, how deep you want your neckline to be over here. If you are going to be showing a lot of cleavage, if you want to show a lot of skin around there, you can come down more from that measurement. Because I want mine to lap properly, I don't want to wear a camisole or I don't want to wear breast tube inside. So that is why I use a five inches around there, okay? So the next thing I need to do now, because this is just like a general rule, okay? When you have like a really wide neckline like this, so that is what our under explains to us, okay? I need to shorten this neck edge. I need to shorten this neckline. This method is done to prevent gaping, okay? You don't want to finish sewing your crossover and it will start gaping. So we need to do this method to prevent gaping. So the first thing I want to do is to take my ruler and you want to rule a line from your boss point so i'm going to be connecting my boss point my dart to my boss point like so so i'll take two diagonal lines okay so i'm going to be taking one diagonal line above my boss line and one below my boss point one is above my boss line this is my boss point okay this line here is boss point and this line here is boss line okay so this, I'm, I've taken one diagonal line from my shoulder, from my dart, I mean, sorry, from my dart leg to my boss point, one above my boss line and another one below my boss line. So this is done to prevent gaping from your pattern when you finish sewing. You don't want to have any gaping. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut like so through the middle of my dart, okay? I'm going to open up my dart like so and I'll stop at my boss point. So I'll come over to these other new lines that I made. I'll make, I'll cut out those lines as well. I'll cut out the two lines, okay? Good. So as you can see, I've opened up three lines like this, okay? So now I want to shorten my neck edge. So I'll take my tape. The next thing I want to do now is to start lapping. You see the opening that I have there? And I also have opening here at my dart. So I'm going to now start lapping it. So you're going to use a 0 0.5 inches to lap. So I'm going to pick this upper part and I'm going to place it. I'll, I'll, I'll measure 0 0.25 here. I'm going to measure 0 0.25 inches. So I'm lapping this with 0 0.25. I'll also do the same thing here at this bottom one. I'll mark 0 0.25, okay, that I'm going to use to lap it. So this is just done to shorten the neck edge, okay? Do not forget the reason why we are doing this. This is to shorten the neck edge and to prevent your neckline from gaping. That is just the most important thing here. You want to prevent your neckline from gaping. Okay, so I've lapped that part, 0 0.25. So I'm going to also come down to this other part. I'm going to lap it. Can you see? It's 0 0.25. So then I'll tape it all the way down like so, okay? Good. So, and as you can see, it's no longer smooth around there. So you're just going to smoothen it, okay? See, that's exactly what it did here in our under, okay? You see the two diagonal lines and they have to just smoothen it with those breaking lines. So I'm going to take my ruler and I need to smoothen this out because I want it to go all the way down straight up. So I'm going to smoothen all of this part. I'm going to rule it 
how to smoothen them out, okay? Good. Then I'll cut. Perfect. So after smoothing out your neckline and your neckline can never give again when you do this and I've, I've used my tape to secure it back and if you notice here you see that my dart has opened more on this part okay so you can see the space i already now have after lapping those parts you see it looks like they transferred the measurement around there the 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 here transferred automatically to my dart okay so now i now have ss here in between my dart so i'm just going to put in another paper to close that up so I, I need to cover that space okay that is there i need to cover the space up so i also use a clear tape to cover that up so now i now have access to my waist okay which was not part of my measurement before so i'm now going to be going to the side seam to eradicate that excess measurement which is now added to my waist so i'll just tape it down just to close that part so i'll take my tape measure and i'm going to measure it and i have 0 0.75 there so i'll come to my side seam to take away this measurement this opening that came into my dart I'm going to be taking it away from my side seam so that my bodies will still remain the same measurement as the way I drafted it, okay? So I'm just going to mark 0 0.75 here. Then I'll use a ruler like so. I'm just taking away. This is it. Let me show you guys here. Can you see this part? You see those breaking lines? So that is where you come back to take away. You see all these breaking lines here? That shows that you're... Your, there was another increment in your waist so because you don't need that measurement you need to come back to your side seam and eradicate it from your side seam okay so i'm going to come to my side seam to eradicate that 0 0.75 measurement from my waist line like so then i'll not take my scissors i'll cut that out perfect then my crossover bodies is ready so this is how to draft the crossover bodies guys it's very very simple to achieve so this method that we did around here is to prevent your neckline from gaping so if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comment section i will be glad to answer every of your questions so the next thing that you need to do here now is just to cut two all you need to do you need to cut two of this pattern okay so you are going to be cutting two so you just cut two, one on this side and the other one is going to lap and come to this other side. So for your back bodies, your back will just be a normal basic bodies. Your back will be a normal basic bodies. Then you can choose this, the same neck wideness you choose for the front. Like I choose four inches, my back neck width should also be four inches, okay? So the depth can be one inch, can be two inch. It all depends on you, it's your preference, okay? But your back should be a normal basic bodies back without a zip allowance because this is going to be a crossover okay but if you are going to be closing this crossover up you are going to lock it out you will need to put a zip at the back of your bodies okay so this is how to achieve a crossover bodies and you just cut two of these and cut your lining and sew your fabric and you are good to go so i'll see you guys in my next video if you find this video interesting please subscribe to this channel do like and share and don't forget to turn on the notification bell okay so if you need one of these and that you can send me a message i'll be putting my number down on the screen so you can send me a message on whatsapp and one of these books will be delivered to you wherever you are watching from so bye